we have some exciting news for you. PyCharm 2025.1 is finally out and it's packed with powerful features to streamline your workflow. But first, a huge announcement. With the 2025.1 release, PyCharm is now a single product for everyone. No more deciding between the community and professional editions. All users get full access to all features for a trial period and can then seamlessly switch between using all features with a subscription and using the core feature set without one, for free. The free core features now also include Jupyter Notebook support. Yes, you heard that correctly. For existing Pro users, nothing changes. You will simply transition to the new unified PyCharm and continue with your current subscription as usual. In addition to the one PyCharm for everyone model, this release introduces exciting new additions like a free AI subscription, enhanced Jupyter support and the Cadence plugin tailored for ML engineers. Plus, we've integrated Hatch, Data Wrangler and more to streamline your workflow. From powerful new features to UI improvements and groundbreaking AI capabilities, PyCharm is truly the only Python IDE you'll ever need. There is a lot to explore, so let's dive in. Starting off strong, all JetBrains AI features are now under a single subscription. This includes access to AI Assistant and our smart coding agent Juni. With this release, all AI features are accessible for free in PyCharm Pro, with unlimited use for some, such as unlimited code completion and local model support, and limited credit-based access to others. We've expanded the capabilities of AI Assistant. Now, with just one click, you can generate charts powered by your data frames data. Then, you can select your preferred charts and customize the underlying code to better suit your needs. This not only saves time, but also sparks inspiration with a diverse range of automatically generated charts. But that's not all. We've also expanded the AI model selection in the chat. You now have full control over your AI experience by choosing from the latest and most advanced language models, including Cloud 3.7 Sonnet, OpenAI GPT 4.5, Gemini 2.0 Flash. And if you want AI Assistant to ignore certain code, there is now a simple and familiar solution. Just use an .ai ignore file, similar to .git ignore, to specify the files or folders to exclude. For example, adding your notebook to the git ignore list will automatically remove the AI options in it. AI Assistant is a coding companion, and like a true companion, it's there for you rain or shine, online or offline. That's right, with a new offline mode, you can now work with local models without relying on an internet connection. Whether you prefer cloud-based AI processing or need a backup for those unreliable network days, the choice is yours. Juni, the coding agent by JetBrains, is now publicly available. With Juni, you can fully delegate routine tasks to your very own personal coding agent or collaborate with it to execute more complex ones. Now, Juni and AI Assistant are available under a unified subscription. Because Juni's powers are practically limitless, the hardest part of working with Juni is figuring out what to ask it to do. A great prompt ensures a great result. So, let's put Juni to the test. Hey Juni, create a new Jupyter Notebook with four interesting dynamic plots with the Iris species dataset. Now, sit back, relax, and watch Juni do its thing. First, Juni drafts a work plan. Feel free to adjust or accept it. Then, it codes the whole thing for you. Hit run, and just like that, you've got everything you asked for. Give it any task you'd like. Juni understands the context of your code, writes the code, tests it if needed, and asks for your guidance at pivotal stages. Basically, working with Juni is like working alongside a pair programmer who's always willing to do whatever you ask of them. In PyCharm 2025.1, we've implemented Data Wrangler, a powerful tool designed to streamline data transformation for Python developers. Whether you're cleaning, pre-processing, or analyzing data, 
Data Wrangler makes it easy to apply common transformations without writing complex code, allowing you to focus on higher level insights. If you have a Pandas data frame, go to the right hand corner and click on the Data Wrangler button for a list of transformations like normalizing, scaling, handling outliers, and many more. Let's try one out. I'll go with the first, find and replace. Choose the column on which you want to apply this transformation, enter the old and new values, and apply the changes. Then you can either copy the code, or if you are lazy like me, just let PyCharm add a new cell with a generated code. This next feature was inspired by your feedback. You asked, and we listened. PyCharm 2025.1 supports Hatch, a modern, extensible Python project manager that simplifies environment creation, dependency management, and packaging. If you want to create a new project using Hatch, simply select Custom Environment under Interpreter Type and Hatch will appear as an option in the drop-down menu. Click Create, and voila, it's that easy. If you do not have Hatch pre-installed on your computer, you can install it directly from here. And if you open an existing Hatch project, PyCharm will recognize it as a Hatch project. No extra steps required. Pretty cool, right? Finally, let's take a look at some of the love we've given to Jupyter Notebook with this release. If you have some data you want to play with, you can now easily add an SQL cell directly, querying the data you're interested in. Here, I have a Jupyter Notebook project. For this demo, I am using a freelance earnings dataset. On the menu next to the AI Assistant icon, click the New SQL option to create a new cell where you can write your SQL statement. Then, select your data source. I'll choose Data Frame, but you can also connect to an external data source. We fully support a bunch of external sources, including PostgreSQL and MongoDB. You can rename the variable, then write your query, and PyCharm will display the results. You can then freely reuse a variable. Name your variables wisely if you want that pull request approved. Beyond this glimpse of what PyCharm 2025.1 has to offer, this release highlights include enhancements in database tools, UI improvements, and a better overall user experience. Be sure to visit our What's New section for more information. Download PyCharm now and try all the latest updates. We'd love to hear your feedback.